Hello everyone, welcome to Michael's Vlog in the Philippines. I'm going to try to make this video as fast as possible and I apologize if you can hear the construction that's going on around here. I'm actually upstairs because I want to try to get away from the fan noise. My son's asleep right now and uh, the reason I want to make this video quickly is because if he wakes up and finds out that I'm not down there with him and he, he wakes up by himself, he's going to be super upset with me. But in this video, I'm going to talk about, you know, the difference of crossing the street in Davao versus crossing the street in Manila. Now, if you didn't watch any of my videos previously, um, you know, I, actually, I don't think I put up a video yet about Manila. I, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Who knows? But nonetheless, I came from Manila recently. Yeah, I did upload a video showing my view in, in Manila. So that is online. But I recently came back from Manila and you know crossing the street here versus in, in manila is a big difference when you when you're in manila you know they have a nice structure in place everything is super organized you know when you cross the street they have a, a led uh, light or it might even be it might not be led but they have a light nonetheless that counts down and lets you know just like if you were in america to let you know how many seconds you have to cross the street and also when you cross the street here people aren't going to run you over really in Manila like they will stop and I think that's because they have laws and rules in place there not that they don't have it here but I think they're a lot more strict in Manila and we were in the um, BGC area so in the BGC area I think it might be a little bit more you know uh, secure in terms of how they structure things but in general crossing the street in Manila is so much easier I never stress once about anyone running up on me and possibly hitting me with their vehicle when I'm crossing the street. And there's a crosswalk almost everywhere in that BGC business area. So it's just really a great experience. They have like a, a area for, I think, bikes and uh, scooters on the sidewalk as well. And the, and the sidewalks are really big. Now you might be thinking, well, this ain't, this ain't that big of a deal. Come to Davao and try to cross the street. And then you will understand why I'm why I'm making this video about crossing the street in Davao versus crossing the street in Manila. In fact, the next time I go back to, to Manila, maybe I need to make a video of me actually crossing the street and then show you me crossing the street in Davao. And then you will get the message. When you're in Davao and you try to cross the street, you better be paying attention because they will run up on you and be super close to you, you weaving and, and waving out of the traffic as you cross across the crosswalk. There isn't usually a timer there to count down and let you know you can cross the street. And if there was one there, I don't know if they would actually pay that no attention to people that are driving. You know, I've seen it when I walk across the street and I've seen it when I'm in a vehicle and someone's driving, they do not yield for pedestrians. And that's really a, a big issue here for me and Davao is crossing the street safely. And I always wonder in the back of my mind, like if I cross this street, is his brakes working? Is his vehicle in good condition? I don't know if he if he gonna hit me by accident because his vehicle may not be in the best condition. I don't really know what the condition of the vehicle is because there's too many of them coming my way. I'm just trying to safely get across the street. So that that's one of the big differences here in the Philippines in Davao versus Manila. It's much easier to cross the street in, in Manila versus in Davao. There really isn't a lot of structure for that here yet, at least right now. Maybe let, they'll put that in later, but in, in, in Manila, life is easy when you're, when you're a pedestrian. When you're in Davao, life is stressful when you're a pedestrian. And it don't matter what your age is, they don't yield for the young and they don't yield for the old. When you're crossing that street, it's just you and traffic and you just got to get yourself across the best way that you can. That's just really how it is here, at least in the area that I live in, in Davao. You better be paying attention when you, you don't own the street as a pedestrian. The drivers own the street. You you better look at them and say, please don't hit me when you, when you cross that street. You know, it's just that real here. But in Manila, it was just really laid back. You know, there's just so many pedestrian walkways there that you really don't have no excuse for not using it because there's always one there. They usually have people directing the traffic in the BGC area to get you across if it is a high traffic area. Not to say that they don't have that here sometimes, but in general, it's a lot better as a pedestrian in Manila than in Davao. Now, obviously, there are some other differences between Davao and Manila beyond just that 
that you know you might like about Manila better or you might like about Duval better. But as a pedestrian, be careful when you cross in the street here in Duval. And if possible, try not to have to cross the street at all if you don't have to because traffic here is kind of wild. So that's just my little rant video about um, what I miss about Manila really is that it's just so easy to walk and I love walking around and seeing different restaurants and stores but doing that here in Davao is not as fun of an experience as it is if you were in um, Manila so I would definitely prefer Manila to travel around now places are far away at times in Manila so you might have to walk a bit of a distance to get there but once you get to the general business area there's just a ton of companies that you can go check out and you know, be uh, be you know, be a, a person that's exploring and seeing what they have to to offer. So that's my little quick video here. I'm gonna go ahead and end this because it's already like six minutes, and I don't want to let my son wake up, or I'm gonna try to squeeze another video in before he wakes up. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Michael's vlog. My first video I think I've ever done from upstairs, and. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it because the lighting is a little bit better up here. So you probably can see me a lot better than you can downstairs. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video on Michael's Vlog. Until then, uh, you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.